North Node, South Node, South Node, North Node. North Node is basically looking further up, aka not worrying about what happened to the past, not worrying about what happened previously, aka your spirit destroyed those experiences, or at least pretty much your spirit resonated with a new experience because your spirit is always rising, it's always ascending. So that means your soul is just going to be basically picking up the emotional baggage, aka allowing these psychiatric, psychiatric psyches, aka your karmic psychic abilities, aka your subconscious is basically is going to be buried inside you, aka the key. Of course, your eyes is the key to your soul. Now, if your body is just your physical body, aka you create many bodies, you create many vessels. So now when you're in the perspective of the North Node and Gemini, your job, your duty, your goal to manifest in life and of course keep pushing higher. <coughs> your purpose is to basically don't look at the bigger picture. Don't think you know everything. <sighs> Find equilibrium and balance between that. Just experience. See things for what it truly is. Feel me? Don't be naive to the small things. Because the small things can basically be the big treasure that can open up in your life. But basically you like, oh, this shit is small. This shit don't mean shit. No, that shit means everything. Everything means something. Everything has true meanings and reasons behind it. Don't be naive about this shit. Go through the experience and basically see it for what it truly is. You never know how doors can be open. Feel me? Just by you going to that place, you can fucking open the door to the whole city. Never know how it's going to play out. So never be naive. Also, if you need to find out where you got the North Node in your house. Now, if it's in your first house, personality. Second house, things you value. Third house, your surroundings. Fourth house, family and home. Fifth house, expressions. Sixth house, daily routine. Seventh house, relationships. Eighth house, desires. Ninth house, experiences. Tenth house, status. Eleventh house, groups. Twelfth house, dreams. Now, if you got the South Node in Gemini, your goal is to basically look at the bigger picture. Also, find equilibrium and balance, too. Feel me? So that means if your south node is in Gemini, that means your north node will be in Sagittarius. So your north node in Sagittarius will basically expand above your horizon, expand your visions, expand your passions, your motivations, and what you're basically striving to basically aim for. Expand your above your horizon. Learn how to travel. Learn how to go places that you've never been before because you never know how it's going to play out. That can be a circumstance situation. You went out there. You experienced something. You loved something. You know, of course, you was, gravi you was gravitated towards So Now, your ass went over there and gravitated, gravitated towards that shit. And, of course, you took all the fruits and labors. And, of course, now you're sitting back. Now you're in a new location, a new space. And, of course, you're developing new ideas, new intergonologies, intergonologies to basically influence on how you can basically get from point A to point B in life. You ain't stay stuck and stagnated into your surroundings. You feel me? You got actually... You got out of your seclusion to basically aim high in life. So this is a circumstance situation where you got this perspective. And North Node is always going to play as your spiritual purpose, your spiritual path, where you should basically be aiming high for. Your South Node is always going to play a circumstance situation of what you did in the past. You did that already, so it's time to move on to something else, a.k.a. it's a new challenge, it's a new endeavor, it's a new new level, new devil. So you got to be ready to basically go through these experiences and, of course, be open for these shits. And, of course, your North Node is always going to look at us. Or your North Node is always going to look like... Oh, man, I don't want to do this. Oh, man, that should look too difficult. But no, you're supposed to basically go do that shit. That's the whole purpose of getting to astrology. Know about the stars because you are a star. And if you don't know where your star was located when you came out that sky, invisibly, into that body, the motherfucker, how you going to be able to actually get, move around? You're just going to get lost into society standards, a.k.a. the truth is in the stars. You got to believe in yourself, motherfucker. You got to bring your heaven on earth, nigga. If they tell you you're going to heaven, you're going to hell, motherfucker. But yeah, that's no for the other south. No, in a nutshell. I love y'all.